Hello, I'm Karen and in this video this is um, it's going to be a little bit different because to start off with I actually want to say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much. I've reached 10,000 subscribers and I've reached over a million total views. So thanks guys, I really appreciate that. Now, the reason why I'm doing this video is because it's partly an advertising video because it's advertising a new pattern but also I'm going to share with you how to make um, let me just get it this is just my simplified one I'm going to share with you how to make mini greenhouses but the thing is is you're going to actually need to collect some things together first because they're not something you probably have lying around just like that so I thought I'd try and get it done and prepared so um, what I'm doing is this is the um, a hanging basket that I made for my mum and I'm just going to get you the plant pot just to show you when I put it on the plant pot like so you can see the bottom is a beautiful flower pattern okay and the petals just work up all the way around which is what causes the you to get this lovely shape for you to have your hanging basket now I have made this one in cotton but you can make them in normal yarns it's entirely up to you the way that I've done the pattern which is working over the chains it makes it really really strong so it can cope with the weight of the compost and the plant when it's growing okay now because I'm just doing my advertising bit first I'm just going to share with you what happened is that while I was I've, I've been off you know at uh, I had my wisdom tooth out, which was absolutely horrific. He broke the tooth next door, and when he pulled out, he hit the roof of my mouth and broke my other tooth, and so I had to have all fillings done and everything. So I had like a lot of anaesthetic, and I, um, I mentioned in my other videos, I really don't cope well with anaesthetic, so I have the strangest things happen to me. But I also suffer from nightmares while I have them. So while I was making the hanging basket I've actually done different sizes and what happened while I was doing the sizes I realized I could actually make it into a dream catcher so this is a blue one there isn't anything on the ends of the tassels because I did I did want to use these beautiful little beads um, little bells but they were so small I couldn't thread them onto the actual ends so I used my really really tiny yarn just to be able to make a smaller version and because Easter's coming along just move those sorry being a bit noisy um, all the feathers whoops all the feathers came out in the shop so I've actually made this one in the lilacs and I'm also going to send this one for my mum because I actually ordered everything online for mum's birthday and for Mother's Day this year because um, I was just too poorly to go out to go to the post office and post or anything. So these are for my mum, which I'm sure she's going to absolutely love. Okay, so now I'm going to move on now and I'm going to show... show uh, oh, no, one more thing, sorry. There's the bag. Um, I've made this lovely little bag. I've actually done an improvement on a pattern that I'd already written. Um, and the reason why I need to show you this is because when you look on the pictures, you will see... Let's get rid of the, these things out. The actual picture is with um, one of these Easter bunnies at the side of the pattern. So if you go onto my Etsy, which is called Cottage Cake, which is all one word, um, you'll see my pictures of my. <clears throat> I've put the lilac dream catcher on. I've done this bag, and I'm just going to share with you as well because I did it in different colours. You do get a very very slight level of where you're joining it, it's really slight but that you can um, always decorate it with some flowers which these very center flowers from the uh, middle of the dream catchers make beautiful little flowers and if you use the wings um, off my owl then you can make some leaves as well so you can mix and match the patterns that we've already made to create something beautiful okay so that's my advertising bit out of the way advertising myself <laughs> um oh and also 
one more thing I just want you to know you know with the plant pots I've showed you I start off with a smaller size which is you can use it with with yogurt pots this is a trifle pot um, these wash great in the dishwasher by the way and this is just a normal plant pot now I'm not a gardener as such but I did learn something while I was doing all of this you measure plant pots from the top not the bottom okay now I've got a brand new tape measure which um, I can only measure in centimeters which is a shame I suppose in one sense but then it's not in another but this says that it's um, eight centimeters if you look on the bottom of your plant pot I don't know if you can see that very well there it actually says it's a three inch plant pot and over this side it says 76 millimeters but that is because if you measure the bottom we know that's not 76 millimeters that's 50 something so plant pots are always measured by the top okay um i do put that in my pattern just so that we're clear on that so now that's all sorted i'm going to rapidly move on i need to move all these things out of the way because i don't want any compost in my um works i'm going to use compost next so what you're going to need to make these greenhouses it is um a recycled pringle tub now this one is a really really basic one <clears throat> however i have improved on my design so that you can actually put um some pretty wrapping paper on it to make it look even nicer okay so i'm going to show you two different versions and you're going to need where is my box we're going to need um these we've got self-adhesive labels um i just bought a box of 250 i use them for address labels and you're going to need 10 of these you're also going to need a couple of food bags and some compost and a pen <laughs> oh and let's just get this i bought this six in one collection pack because it was only 90 pence so i've got six different sorts of flowers in there and on the back of it it's got the instructions which as you can see i've been cutting mine out and so for my example today I'm going to use the um, nasturtium, okay? So I've got the nasturtium out of this packet and I've also cut out the instructions so that these can go inside the box, um, inside the little tub that you make. So, um, right, so what we're going to do is we're going to just take off the lid temporarily because this is going to be working as your greenhouse. Yeah, I've been testing these. These have um, completely hold the water. I've had one outside for a whole year and it hasn't leaked. It started to decay on the outside and show signs of wear and tear, but it actually didn't leak. So um, I thought, cool, I'll use that for a greenhouse. So I've got my 10 labels. Now, one of them I need to tear off and keep it on its little background thing. Okay, so I'm going to put that to one side and then all we're going to do is peel off a label and we start off, doesn't matter where you start, as long as you, what you're going to do is you're going to match up the edge with the silver and you're going to stick that around. It doesn't matter if you go slightly over, don't worry, that's fine. This is just really to cover up the backing so that you can't see it. Like I said, on the other one, I just did it all plain labels. I'm just going to overlap and then put another one on. But I did it all plain labels and then um, drew some pictures on because I thought that would be really cool for children to do, to be able to give us presents for, um, I don't know, whether they've got grandparents that are gardeners or whether they're little gardeners themselves. And I just thought that it would just be a nice little idea. It's something to do, something fun something really really easy um, now I'm going to turn around I'm going to start matching the labels up from the bottom so I'm matching up to the silver and just putting the labels on um, yeah I thought it was something lovely to do with your 
all the little children, um, like, oh, even the bigger children. It's, see, the bigger children can help the little children um, and all join in together. And once you've got your background, this, um, the label, you can paint on them, you can draw on them, or you can just leave them plain. It's entirely up to you. But it also, it gives you a good background for you to be able to add on the pretty paper. So that's all we're doing is literally covering up our tub just so that we can't see that it actually says Pringles on it. Like that. And one more label. So that was nine labels, yeah, that, um, that cover the outside of the tub. Now if you get your pretty paper, and you can put the pretty paper, I'm going to get my sellotape for this one though. Now I have done the measurements. The measurements, if you want to do your pretty paper, it's eight centimetres. Let's just move that a minute. It's eight centimetres this way. Where's my tape measure? Look, just to show you. There, it's eight centimetres that way. And then it's 28 centimetres this way. Put it that way. That's how big I've done it anyway, just so that you can overlap it when you stick it on. I'm going to get a little bit of tape, get my paper, put it into position, and put the tape over it there. And then literally wrap this around, all the way around like that. Another piece of tape to secure the other side. There. <laughs> And there you go, look, it's a beautiful looking little tub. So, and when you, they use it as a greenhouse, they're going to fill it with other things, put the lid on, and then that'll cause the condensation and the water to dribble back down. And when the plant gets big enough, they can just put that on the bottom, just to keep it, if they want to reuse it for another time. So now we need to put the things inside. So, one of the food bags, oh, we're going to fill up with... Um, just going to get some scraps of yarn from the projects that we've been doing. I'll just use the lilac ones today. There. Put those over there. And these, these are going to go in actually into when you actually make your things, you're going to put the this goes into the very pot, bottom of the tub to use as drainage. Okay? But you want your gardener to be able to set it all up. So you're going to put these. Well, I've got my nice little, I'm going to write it on there, on the bag. This is for the drainage. So D-R-A-I-N-A-G-E. There, drainage. And we put these scraps of yarn into the bag. And tie that up into a knot on the end. So that's that one. And then this bag, I'm not going to write on this bag because it's going to be obvious. I'm just going to get my little pot and I've got some compost and we're going to put, I'm using um, my pumpkin scoop. <laughs> Got to recycle everything. Put your pumpkin scoop, so we're going to do one, two, Three really good size scoops. Just tidy up that a bit. And then tie this one into a knot. Or you can get the bag ties and put those on if you can't tie knots in your bags. That's perfectly fine. But I find putting a knot in the bag just helps keep, and it just keeps, keeps a bit of moisture in your compost. Um, okay, so we've got our compost. And then what we're going to do is just to help them so that they know as well, we're going to put the drainage in, the compost in, squid it all in, it's a tight fit, <laughs> it's not when it's all out of its bag. We've got the seeds, perhaps I should put the seeds in first, um, put the label, we've got the label, this other label is just so that the person can stick it on and so they can write down what they've planted into their little tub. I'm going to put the label inside. The instructions. The seeds. 
I mean, he's screwing up a little bit, but it's okay. And then the lid on top. And there you go. You've got a fantastic little mini greenhouse gift to give to your family and friends that are gardeners. And if you are crocheting, if you do the one that fits the four inch plant pot, you can actually put this inside the um, hanging basket, especially with this one, the nasturtium, because they're a training plant. And then you've got everything all inside your hanging basket. And I think um, that's just an absolutely wonderful gift. This is this one. I'm going to literally send this one as it is that I've made now to my mum, complete with her dream catcher. And um, just send that for her for just a homemade gift because I just think it's nice. Nice to have homemade gifts and everything else. So um, just one more little thing as well I'm just going to share with you is that I've also got these um, yoghurt drinks with a screw lid on. These make fantastic little watering cans if you, you're going to need to be a grown, you know, get an adult or somebody sensible to help you with this bit. I use my, um, I've got an old, really, really old wooden handled um, corkscrew undo a thing I don't know what you call that <laughs> I don't drink so I don't know but anyway yeah so uh, but I used the end of that and um, heated the end and just melted some holes in it just to make a lovely little watering can so um, for your little project if you just wanted to you don't have to but I just find it nice to have when I've got my little things on the windowsill and they just need a little bit of water it's just nice to have like a mini watering can okay so I hope you like my ideas and um, thanks ever so much guys as well you know i really really do appreciate the fact that i actually have got so so many views and um so many subscribers and i'm really sorry that i've not i've not come on straight away um as i told you i've had my wisdom tooth out and while i have my wisdom tooth out my guinea pig died and i've just been really really miserable and sad and so this is something just to cheer up everybody and so there we go so thanks for watching thanks for liking thanks for subscribing bye for now